Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Venom Vlog, episode 452. And I was trying to get that first episode out, The History of Flash Thompson, before we did this, because I didn't want our first episode back on the Venom Vlog to be about Morbius, but I, you know, because I wanted to get into the Flash Thompson stuff. So now that that's out of the way, we can now watch this trailer, which I heard might be coming today. And that's why I was kind of pushing for the Flash Thompson episode to go up last night uh, against my usual time. Because normally I, you know, edit and post videos throughout the week and uh, and sometimes on the weekends. But, uh, but you know, I was planning to wait until Monday or Tuesday to do the Flash episode. But because I heard about this, I was like, all right, we should just hold off, you know, get Flash out now. And then we can have our second episode of the season for season four of Venom Vlog be, you know, dedicated to Michael Morbius here. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the trailer. Um, I think there might be a Jared Leto interview. I don't know if that's a video or not because I saw the post on uh, on uh, Twitter from IGN. But we're going to watch it from there, at least the trailer, at least from their uh, IGN page on uh, YouTube. So I'll put a link to that down below so you can check it out for yourself. And then afterwards, we'll have a brief discussion about Michael Morbius' first appearance, which is the reprint of it. Um, but I have like other versions of it, not the original though. But it's Amazing Spider-Man issue 101 and 102 was like a two-part introduction to Michael Morbius. Uh, so we'll talk about that after the trailer. But first, I want to check this out and uh, give you guys my reaction. So without further ado, let's do this. Here we go. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Please. You have a gift. You always have. Oh. Yeah. If there's an answer to your disease... You'll find it. Wow, he's like he needs help walking and everything. Wow. I should have died years ago. Oh wow. Why am I still here if not to fix this? Just I have a rare blood disease and I'm running out of time. Dang. This could be my last chance. This is shot actually pretty well. It looks nice. Huh. I don't want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This I'm sorry, I'm kind of speechless. This looks pretty good. Ooh. Jeez. So this is the, in the same world that Venom's in. <laughs> Weird. At what cost? Oh, man. Cool. What's that song? It sounds familiar. God dang. Dang. He went definitely went through a transformation. Oh, they gotta work on the effects a little bit. Whoa, there's like teleportation like Nightcrawler. Whoa, his eyes. Cool. He's going on a boat. That's like his first appearance. He appeared on a boat. And killed like a bunch of guys at sea. That's pretty cool. How far are we allowed to go? Oh, there's the Spider-Man image. Matt Smith. Awesome. Until the remedy. You gonna see him? Come on, you guys gotta show him. Is worse than the disease. There he is. Ho 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 All right. Sweet. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? What? No way! No way! Uh, that was, f oh, that was freaking uh, Michael Keaton as Vulture. Uh, and he looked like he was arrested, and he was he was saying something. To, oh my God! No way! They really are linking them together. Um, I saw a lot of people getting mad about that poster online um, when he's walking down the alleyway in the jumpsuit. I, hold on, I got it. Hold on, the vultures in this movie. Michael Keaton is in this movie. Uh, probably just a small scene, sure, but uh, yeah, I love that. He's like, "What's up, Doc? Tired of playing hero, huh?" Um, wow. Okay, that's. That's cool because that was my favorite part about Homecoming was uh, was him as Vulture. Like he was awesome. And I was hoping they'd bring him back and start building the Sinister Six. And it clearly looks like they're going to start tying all this stuff in together. So that means there's most likely going to be that Venom uh, Spider-Man cameo in Venom 2. Um, 
But that little poster back there was funny because people were saying, oh, it's so lazy. They used an image from Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Uh, I think it was a game, too, or maybe it was one of the pictures Eddie Brock took. I can't remember, but it was like a reused image. Um, and it says like murderer on it. And uh, I said, well, yeah, it's kind of lazy from a, uh, on one level. But on another level, it's like, um, you know, the, the I don't know, I guess I don't see it as I see it in, in universe, I guess it makes sense because different people will do different interpretations of Spider-Man. It looks like it could be it might be a poster or it could be like actually spray painted on the wall because I think I saw some brick design in there. So maybe someone just spray painted it on there. Um and they obviously spray painted murderer over it, but I don't know if it's a, a poster or if it is a poster. Um, I don't know. It's like, I get it on one level. Yeah. It's lazy using an old image, especially when they have so many MCU images that they can use and, uh, and everything. But, um, but at the same time, do they, because Peter Parker doesn't take pictures or does he? Yeah. I think he doesn't far from home. Isn't he like texting J Jonah Jameson pictures of spy? I can't remember. Um, and the thing is, they haven't fully established him as a photographer, so maybe this world doesn't have a ton of pictures of Spider-Man swinging around in his costumes, um, especially since he was absent for like five years in that world. So maybe it's just an artist rendition of a Spider-Man costume, but in our reality, it's just a reused Sam Raimi image. Who knows and who cares? I don't think it's meant to really draw that much attention. I think it's just supposed to be there in the background as like a, hey, this is connected, but really even more of a connection was definitely Vulture there at the end. Um, but wow, that looked pretty good. Actually, that looked uh, intense and it looked shot very well. Um, and I was surprised because I this one, I was like hoping it would be good, but uh, at least a good trailer, but I wasn't sure. I was like, ah, are they going to be able to sell this this character? But having him be like physically... Um, um, malnourished and, and having to, you know, use, uh, you know, kind of these, st uh, the, the sticks to walk, um, and his feet don't exactly go, you know, straight when he walks, like he's, you know, uh, either that's from the abuse he took as a kid, or he's just using, losing so much blood, he's weak, um, and he has to use his entire body to pull himself, but seeing him really skinny and pale, like, they really nailed that look, um, and then when he's ripped, and he's, like, bigger, I mean, you know, bigger compared to super skinny i think that was smart because you, you know all these movies everyone seems to have like gain like 40 50 pounds of muscles and they look a little too big this is kind of nice because he's just like super skinny in one scene and then he's just like a swimmer's body in the next scene and so it looks like a drastic you know upgrade um but uh but not as drastic as like captain america's upgrade because that was cg you know on like a, a person's body who was very skinny this one, they kind of played with the visuals with Jared himself, which works uh, and it looks good. Um, Jared Leto, Adria Arjona, I think plays the female scientist. Matt Smith is going to play, I think, Nikos or one of the villains. Um, we'll talk real quickly about Amazing Spider-Man 101 and 102. Uh, this is the first appearance of, of Michael Morbius in the comics. And when he first showed up, it's during Spider-Man's time. Um, it's written by Roy Thomas and uh, Gil Kane did the artwork. And it's during a time right after Stan Lee kind of left the book, uh, where or a little while after Stan Lee, but he was still editor, I think, of the book uh, because obviously he loves Spider-Man. He wants to be a part of the Spider-Man stories. Um, and uh, and what Roy Thomas and, and uh, Gil did with uh, Michael Morbius was they brought him in during a time where Spider-Man had the the six arms. So he was mutated. Uh, something got in his blood and he and he was trying to reverse his powers. And in doing so, he became more Spider-esque. So he, tr you know, grows two extra arms on each side and then he's like you know has to quit his job or he tells his job he's taking a leave of absence so he calls the bugle or they call him and he's like i gotta leave for a while i'm sorry i'm sick i have mono uh then uh, gwen stacy calls to go on a date with him she's like hey i know we've had trouble connecting lately maybe we can go on a date today and he's like no i can't um i'm sorry gwen i'm gonna disappear for a while i'll be back soon you know i'll try to do my best and it's him dealing with these extra arms and he goes down to the Everglades where Dr. Kirk Connors left, like he left New York and went down there to try to find a cure for his lizard mutation. And when Spider-Man gets there, he's like, can you help me with this arm mutation? And so, uh, the, you know, Dr. Kirk Connors is like, I'll do my best. And meanwhile, while they're there, Michael Morbius is on a ship like that one we saw, uh, you know, with all those uh, crew members and stuff. And he was uh, on a ship uh, like sleeping. And, uh, and they, you know, were trying to kill him because he jumped on board of their ship and, uh, and he's trying to stay out of the sunlight. And then uh, he ends up eating the entire crew and then taking the boat to land. 
and uh, coming across Dr. Kirk Connors' house near the Everglades. Um, so it was kind of cool. Reminded me of Resident Evil 7 a little bit where a boat crashes in the middle of nowhere in like Louisiana. And then Morbius comes out. Uh, he's like the creature that comes out. And he runs across Spider-Man and Dr. Kirk Connors in the middle of their science experiment. And he's hungry and he needs to feed in order to, you know, to keep his strength. Um, he has a, a, a woman he loves named Mar Martine, I think is her name. And uh, then also there's Nikos, his best friend, who helps him on the science experiment and they went in issue 102 of amazing spider-man they take the ship out like their ship out to sea and martine she's like i gotta go with you i love you and he's like okay fine you can come with us but you can't know what we're doing it's a top secret experiment because he doesn't want her to try to stop him he's mutated his face is like you know his nose is up and it's he's kind of has a mutated face and uh and he's like i'm trying to you know fix myself and of course she's like well, I love you for who you are and he's like yeah but I hate looking in the mirror every day and seeing this monster so um him and Nikos uh put out this you know this project um on the ship and it ends up turning him even more into a vampire and his first person he feeds on is Nikos his best friend who kind of loved um Morbius um so there's like a kind of a relationship there I don't know if Morbius felt the same way back but Nikos was definitely uh, like loved Michael in a way that like a, you know, like a best friend would. He was like always there for him, said what, did whatever he said, you know, kind of a, a loyal, obedient person um, who loved Morbius. And Morbius in turn bit him and drained him of his blood and killed him. And, uh, and he's so horrified by what he's become that he jumps off ship before his hunger makes him go eat Martine, you know, his, his girlfriend or his wife. So uh, he jumps off ship and, uh, and ends up on the other ship where he kills the entire crew um, and feeds off of them. So, uh, and then that leads him to Spider-Man and Lizard. Eventually they say they want to try to help Michael Morbius, but unfortunately they don't, you know, they, he's too, you know, too long gone at this point. And he, and I think that he, they kind of allude to him maybe having a death sentence like he doesn't want to live so he finds this cure that connors was working on that cured dr connors and he's like i'm going to take this and and, and work on it as a scientist myself because they figure out oh you're michael morbius you recently won the nobel peace prize um and after that he started to mutate and he stayed out of the, the public eye so in that trailer they showed him like up on stage accepting an award so that maybe that's the nobel peace prize maybe he wins um it looks like he's working on um other test subjects or other other patients that he has that maybe have similar uh, diseases to what he's has and he's trying to figure out a cure for himself so he can help them it looks like and then it shows that scene on the boat where he's killing the crewmen so i'm like wow that's cool they found a way to reference a lot of his first appearance uh, from spider-man into this movie but then throwing in uh, that little spider-man nod definitely clinches it because that image was going around but i wasn't sure if it was real or not clearly real now uh and yes a little bit lazy you know but uh but i feel like maybe could still work in that universe possibly um because just the image of spider-man and every artist has a different rendition of spider-man so you can argue it that way but in the same time it's like hey why couldn't they just use maybe there was some maybe there's like a little detail in their in their um work with disney where they can't use uh, the actual image or something or maybe they couldn't at this time because maybe when they filmed that they were like hey the deal with disney has not gone through um like we haven't renewed our contract or something like that so you're gonna have to use an old image of Spider-Man, something we own just in case that deal doesn't go through. And if it doesn't go through, we'll just cut this scene. Um, and then I'm thinking they added after the Sony deal uh, with Disney, after they re-upped their deal, they probably added, um, J uh, what's his name, Vulture in there, Michael Keaton. Um, but uh, seeing Michael Keaton at the end was so awesome. So yeah, I love that. Uh, and uh, the first appearance of Morbius was really good. And he grabs the cure but he doesn't he's not able to use it he gets spider-man gets away from him right at the end of the issue and michael falls into the um like hudson river or something and seemingly dies and that's when spider-man's like yeah it's too bad we couldn't save him but maybe michael morbius didn't want to be saved so they leave it up to where he possibly died or he could come back of course we know he comes back in future spider-man stories uh, but they originally left it to where oh maybe he's dead and you know if another writer wants to come in that's fine he can survive a fall in the hudson like no big deal he's he's a superhuman vampire so he probably survived um but yeah so you know wanted to get a little discussion in here about the first appearance of morbius um and then kind of reference it to this like now that we've seen the trailer it's like okay cool like i, I just read these comics reread them uh, last night uh, in anticipation for this trailer so having it all fresh in my head was nice so when i saw some of the images on the trailer i was like hey that's from the comic that's from his first appearance so uh yeah this is good i'm excited for this movie and we are definitely going to do a live stream um in a little bit to talk about it some more like around 10 o'clock which is in um an 
fifty minutes because this I I popped this on right at nine o'clock uh, is when we recorded this episode. So uh, so that was about fifteen minutes ago. It's a few minutes till nine. So uh, so yeah, it's nine ten now, and uh, I'm gonna go because uh, I'm gonna try to edit this, get it posted later tonight. And in the meantime, though, you're gonna have uh, you know our live episode where we discuss. Uh, this. So there will be more Morbius talk on the next Venom Vlog Live, which is probably already up by the time this has posted. So a little bit of back and forth time travel there. So thank you guys very much for watching the show. As always, I appreciate you being here. Let me know what you think of Morbius down below. And again, I'll put the link to the original trailer. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out down below as well. Thanks so much. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.